good afternoon everyone and welcome to this session today how many of you would be interested in increasing your income 10x times if you are interested in increasing your income 10 times please type 10x in the chat box thank you sharma uh, thank you sir thank you is he the only one ah sanjeev ji is interested in 100x very good <laughs> excellent excellent rupa thank you thank you neena ji Sudhakar, thank you. Thank you, everyone. Uh, how many of you are not interested in increasing your income by 10x? If there is anyone who is not interested in increasing your income, please do thumbs down or you know type no in the chat box. So we are not getting any responses. So I presume everybody is interested in increasing the income. My name is Ashish and I welcome to you welcome you all to this session on gaining understanding of how to successfully set and achieve the goals thank you for taking out time on a saturday and joining us for this session i am sure you had other things to do and we are honored by your choosing to be here today we shall do our best to make this worth your while and ensure that you get highest roti what's the word roti yes that is return on time invested we will do our best to make sure you get highest return on time invested by the end of this session you are going to learn three things why is it important to set goals what are the four principles of setting goals successfully which are very very important even if we miss one of those principles you know it's very difficult to achieve the goals and manoj is going to be sharing case studies of people who have learned these principles and successfully uh, applied them uh, under his uh, coaching how many of you would be interested in learning these three things please type bio in the chat box bring it on Thank you, Rupa. Thank you, Sharma. Thank you, Anil. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Rajan. Thank you, friends. This is uh, a session which we are organizing as a part of our Dare Say Dream Tuck initiative, which we had launched uh, uh, starting January. So this is our sixth session. Uh, in this series where we are uh, helping people uh, you know uh, give up fear anxiety depression and live a life of purpose live a life of their dreams and there are two strategies which we are using primarily to give up fear stress and anxiety uh, and live purposefully number one is uh, the lotus of gratitude and i'll invite you to uh, uh, practice this uh, with me uh, after you see me and hear me how it is to be done what we will do in this practice is bring your uh, fingertips together like a petal uh, of uh, lotus uh, lotus and then we will remember uh, one thing that we are grateful for like i am grateful for being alive you know tested positive for covid and went through a difficult time uh, i am uh, grateful that my health has been restored completely i am grateful my family is happy uh, and uh, healthy i am grateful that we have got food on our plate like that anything that you are grateful for you know we can think of one one thing and open and once we are once we have 10 things open you know we will uh, we can place the hand on our hearts and then i'll guide you through a small practice you can keep this eyes closed or open when we are doing this practice so let us start now bring your fingers together and as you think of one thing that you are grateful for please open one finger Yeah. 
Once you have done your 10, place your hand on your heart and be grateful to planet Earth for providing us with everything that we need to sustain our life, the lives of our near and dear ones. The Oxygen air that we breathe is only available in Earth's atmosphere. Let's feel a sense of gratitude for the air that we breathe. Let's be grateful for the water that is available to us 24 by 7. All the elements of the nature, earth, water, air, sunlight, come together to produce the food that we consume. Let's be grateful to Mother Earth for providing us with the food that we eat. And once you're comfortable, you can open your eyes or stay with the feeling for a couple of seconds more. This is a practice which can be done first thing in the morning as soon as we get up and also just before we go to sleep. We can be grateful for things that are already there in our life. And we can also be grateful for things that we would like to happen in our lives. So the gratitude can be prepaid or postpaid both ways. This is a very simple exercise which takes less than a minute or about a minute, but very powerful in transforming our energy uh, from a low energy state to a high energy state, just like lotus blooms in mud, you know, when we practice gratitude, uh, we rise from the mud of negative and low energy emotions to a beautiful uh, flowering, blossoming life. The next strategy that uh, we are uh, advocating as a part of the Dursa Dream the initiative is to live consciously, to take responsibility of our lives. And uh, many people uh, just walk, sleep, walk through life, you know, and uh, I was one of them. When I uh, passed uh, my MBA uh, in 1993, for next six, seven years, you know, I used to set goals annually, uh, but I was, uh, I uh, tend to miss them uh, more than I achieve them. And sometime around 2000, I stopped the practice of writing down my goals. Uh, this was uh, for good 19 uh, years uh, till I uh, met uh, Manoj uh, uh, in March 2020 last year, just before you know the lockdown happened, couple about a fortnight before that. And that chance meeting with Manoj uh, in a program that we were attending together, uh, kind of. Uh, in many ways changed the course of my life. The first night that we met, you know, we were staying together and, uh, you know, we were up uh, till about 12 o'clock talking about how to uh, set goals and achieve them. And he gave me the faith uh, and he gave me the tools and techniques uh, that helped me not only set, but achieve my goals, each one of the goals in 2020. And uh, I'll be uh, happy to share with you that, uh, I don't know if you can see this, but uh, I wrote down uh, uh, my goals, you know, for, 
for the first time after 20 years, uh, handwritten goals, not typed, but handwritten goals in my book. And every single month, uh, uh, except for one month, which was November when I got COVID, I achieved my goals 100%. So would you be interested in learning about how to set goals uh, from my teacher, my master, my guru himself? If yes, please type yes in the chat box. Thank you, thank you. Manoj uh, is a very uh, seasoned uh, HR professional and motivational speaker, and uh, he keeps very busy and he has taken out time uh, to join us for this session. We were planning to his dates to get him uh, on over for about a month, but finally today it is when we could get him. Manoj, would you like to say hello to everybody? Thank you so much, Ashish. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining this session. Um, and uh, while <clears throat> I'm extremely sorry that I have been having some technical glitches, so uh, on and off my uh, video was off. Uh, so being said that, uh, I would like to share how I have achieved my goals and my like mission in my life has become to guide others uh, to achieve their goals uh, uh, for them also. So. To tell you briefly about my journey, I am born and brought up in a small town called Bilai, which is in Chhattisgarh. And after graduations for better job opportunities, I moved to Mumbai in 1999. And uh, very honestly, I had my fair share of struggle for almost, uh, I would say, nine, eight to nine years. So when I say that, uh, I know that there must be a big statement in this platform, but there was a period for almost a year, I was having a single vada pav during the lunch time. I know that this is very quiet uh, street food and love street food in Mumbai, but since I had a big hole in my pocket, I had to continue with that. Uh, it was in 2008 in my organization, our center director showed us the, the secret law of attraction, uh, which entirely changed my life. Uh, to make it short, I can share that uh, only after 2008, uh, I was able to make certain goals for my life. I could dream big. Uh, that was a period while the economy travels, air flights were cheaper, but uh, it was not affordable by me. As I said that I was struggling during those periods. So I made three wishes, three dreams, three goals to double my salary in two years, to have a uh, first flight trip, domestic flight trips for my uh, elderly parents and to have a, a good home uh, in Kerala for my parents. Like that was an old ancestral uh, property so i wanted to have a good home for them so trust me the techniques which i have used using that secret law of attraction uh, by 2010 i got a, a double the salary job opportunity in hyderabad uh, by october 2010 uh, i was able to make the first flight trip for my parents from Cochin to uh, mumbai and uh, by may 2011 uh, I was able to construct a new home for them. Okay, while, while, while most of you are, um, it might seem like um, very wishful thinking, but it happened with me. And during this journey, I started to share because see our school education, entire 12 to 15 years of education, no one taught us to dream big and how to dream, how to set the goals. It's only when you come into the professional journey, you understand so you have certain goals, in your day-to-day -day activity and which are evaluated and based upon that you perform. So, but it is very important to check back and understand, are we doing the same for ourselves while we have been doing the entire life for our organizations? So along with the goals, I could also understood that there should be a mission in life. Okay, so Ashish, if you can, uh, let me share my screen. Bye, Ashish. Uh, uh, the, the, just give me a couple of minutes, Manoj, and then we'll come back to you. I, yeah, yeah, sure. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, so thank you for that introduction, Manoj, and uh, we will move on to, and before we move on, I'll just introduce myself. Uh, I'm the founder of Mindful Living. I started this company in 2018. 
Prior to uh, starting Mindful Living, I worked in the corporate uh, sector for about 25 years in senior management roles. And uh, since our uh, starting Mindful Living, we have conducted nearly 200 sessions and uh, leading organizations like IBM, Tata Group, Kotak Life, HDFC Life, Swiggy, CII, Times of India. And we are regularly invited by leading insurance companies and universities, colleges uh, to conduct lectures for their clients, the employees and uh, the students. <laughs> so uh, having said that, let's understand why it is important to set goals. And uh, uh, in his book, uh, very popular book, what they don't teach you at Harvard Business School, uh, like Manoj was sharing, uh, there, are, there was a study done in 1979 in Harvard Business School uh, where they asked the students in Harvard Business School uh, whether do you, set, uh, do you have written down goals. And uh, surprisingly, only 3% of the people had written down goals. And 13% uh, of the people had goals. Uh, you know, they had some idea of the, what they want to do, uh, but they had not written them down. And 84% of the people had no goals at all. And uh, when uh, the, uh, as a study, when they went back to these people in uh, 1989, what they found that the 13% of the people uh, who had goals but not written down were earning twice as much as those people who had no goals at all. And the 3% of the people who had written down goals were earning 10 times as much as the other 97%. So the, the, the writing down of goals is a very, very powerful thing. And that is something which we are going to be doing uh, as a part of our session today. So in case uh, you don't have, uh, please grab a notepad and uh, pen rest so that you know, you're ready to write down your goals when we come to that section. But it is very, very important. This is a very popular book and very widely cited study. Uh, you can Google it. So you know, when we set goals, uh, it helps us. And the reason it is important to set goals is because it's a need a basic human need for human beings to have purpose in their life and uh, have a goal to work towards. Uh, these are some pictures, you may find them, uh, uh, you know, uh, very stark, uh, but these are from the, the concentration camp. Uh, and uh, this is something which Victor Frankl, Dr. Victor Frankl says in his book, uh, In Man's Search for Meaning, that if a man, if a human being has got purpose, then they can get through any difficulty in life. And uh, he is, uh, he was a Holocaust survivor. You know, he survived his entire family, was taken to the Jewish camp and everybody uh, uh, passed away. You know, he lost his wife, he lost his siblings, he lost his children. Uh, he was the one survived. So, it, and he says what helped him survive was having a sense of purpose, uh, you know, uh, his uh, desire to help other people. In his case, it was a desire to help other people, to connect with people, which helped him keep going. So when we have a sense of purpose, it helps us um, get through most of the difficulties in our life. Like uh, these days, I interact with hundreds and thousands of people and I find them struggling uh, with, uh, uh, you know, the difficulties which COVID has uh, kind of piled on us. And, uh, you know, and I thought this is very important for us to uh, start setting goals so that we can navigate our lives purposefully through this crisis. And another reason why it is very important to set goals is because there is a part in our brain which is called the reticular cortex. And this is like uh, the guided missile system. And once we have goals, you know, what the brain does is it scans the environment, you know, like a missile has got, uh, when we shoot the missile, when we fire the missile, uh, it's set to the enemy uh, plane or whatever territory. And then it just keeps moving. And, you know, uh, it's not a straight path, but wherever that object is flying, the enemy plane is flying, it will go and hit it. And that's how their brain, this reticular cortex in the brain, once the goal is set, it will continuously start working and keep guiding you. It will scan the environment for all the opportunities and it will, you know, keep uh, alert us, make us aware of what is happening. And that is the power of uh, a very having a clear cut uh, purposeful goal because our whole body, our brain uh, starts working towards it and we are supported 
in achieve achievement of that goal and it is also a very important uh, like uh, you saw as a part of that study that uh, one of the income of the people who had written down goals uh, had become 10x it's very important for us to invest in our own selves you know there are so many conversations i hear with people with stock to buy with stock not to buy but rather than invest in somebody else's company if we invest in our own learning if we invest in our own uh, learning and development you know the, our the returns will be uh, uh, infinitely more uh, uh, Warren Buffett, who is one of the richest people in the world, uh, says that the best investment a person can make uh, is in his own learning. And I am so happy that you have taken out time today to come and join us in this session to learn about how to set goals. And uh, I am sure you will get uh, tremendous returns from this exercise. Even though goal setting is so important, as you have seen, there are many people who don't set goals. and one of the reasons for that is people feel that um, uh, you know goals setting goals is not important or it's not fun you know one of the uh, corporates i was doing a session in when i was talking about setting goals uh, the, there was a the young uh, girl in the uh, from the employees who rose and asked me uh, ashish will it be fun if we set goals you know will life not be boring you know i'll i'll be constrained to follow a path to do what i'm supposed to do so that is the misconception that some people have that you know setting goals is boring uh, it will uh, it's no fun and uh, it binds you down it makes you disciplined etc etc but the fact is as we have seen earlier if we don't have goals then you know we will be loser in the life and very the, our we will not be able to achieve our potential another reason uh, you know people don't set goals is because it's not a popular culture you know uh, i have been in the corporate sector for 25 years and each one of those 25 years my boss would ask me to write down my kras you know key result areas uh, for work which pertain to the uh, you know the, the for the work i was doing in that company but nowhere anybody asked me to ashish what are your personal kras in this year what are the five things you going to do for yourself okay suppose i am doing 12 hours in the office uh, i have uh, five goals to uh, work towards but the 12 hours i am going to spend outside office no goals so it's not a culture nobody talks about setting goals nobody so that another reason why we don't set goals many people tried like me i tried uh, setting goals for 6 7 years uh, i i failed because there was no support system and then i gave up so there are some people who try but they don't succeed and they give up and some are not consciously aware of the consequences so one of the things i ask uh, uh, in my sessions regularly to people is how long uh, do you think we are going to live and maybe you can respond by typing in the chat how long do you think we will live there is no right or wrong answer just an estimate Uh, of how long do you think we will live you can just type in your chat i would like to see uh, what are some of the numbers that are coming up 80 65 75 okay any others no right or wrong answers 70 72 that's very specific 80 Okay, fifty-eight, fifty-eight, sixty-five. Yeah, so we not, the range we are getting is about sixty to eighty years. But what if I were to share with you that we will possibly everybody who is on this call will possibly be living from eighty to hundred years. You know, and uh, the reason I am saying this, you know, I, I, my background is in insurance and. Uh, uh insurance companies uh, study this for the, because it's their business they need to cover lives and they need to cover health of people and today there are insurance policies which are available can you please everybody mute themselves uh there are insurance policies health insurance policies earlier there were health insurance policies which were available only till 80 years of age now they are they then they started issuing health insurance policies for 100 years of age now they are issuing health insurance policies which are lifetime why would health insurance policy issue a uh, you know policy which is lifetime because obviously they are studying these trends and they are seeing people will live longer and longer there is a gentleman called ray kurzweil you know you can google on him he is a google scholar and you know he says by 2045 hold your breath it is possible that human beings will live forever 
we may not die you know and there is a reason for that because he says now you have body parts which can be printed uh, you know by 3d printing you can put your cells print your body parts so my liver goes bad i can print my liver and my kidney goes bad i can print my kidney and replace it and technically i could be living forever so we are all going to be living very very long but we are not aware that we will be living you know uh, 80 to 100 years and as a consequence of that we may not plan for our finances we may not plan for our health so lack of awareness of the consequences you know can be another reason why people don't plan so what we have seen uh, so far is you know why people uh, why it's important to set goals uh, because it uh, helps us uh, achieve our potential contribute to the society to our family and we have seen why we are we, why people don't set uh, uh, you know uh, goals these are some of the reasons which prevent people from setting their goals just give me a minute and uh, that uh, just one more thing i would like to discuss before i hand it over to manoj there are four goal setting principles which are very very important for us to successfully set goals and uh, uh, even if one of this is missing then you know the chances of uh, uh, achieving your goals is very low one is number one is clarity clarity on what we want you know uh, for achievement of goals crystal clear clarity on what we want is extremely important uh like you know we were talking about the missile uh, guidance system if the target is not clear or hazy do you think the missile will go and hit the target no the target has to be specified very very clearly so uh, uh, and you don't have to do this in this one hour today but what we will uh, uh, appreciate is at least you get started in the process and then you know we can go and work uh, along with you over the next couple of days or weeks and the second is uh, the uh, clarity about what is result and what is activity and that i think this lack of clarity uh, prevents many people from achieving their goals you know like one of the goals most of the people set uh, on 1st of january 2020 or you know 1st of january of any year is that i'll start going to gym they think going to gym is the goal going to gym is not the goal having good health is the goal so distinguishing activity and the result is very very important but today you can do what you like you know don't get bothered just write what comes to your mind and then it will refine it over uh, the, the you know over next couple of days or weeks so uh, distinguish have clarity on what is activity and what is result you know result is what you want to have you know activity is what you will do and what you're doing is not a goal it's an activity that is number one the number two principle of setting goal successfully is that it should be challenging enough if it is too challenging then you know people don't start uh, you know so sometimes when people come to me uh, uh, and they want to have income goal and uh, you know they, they suppose they are earning uh, x amount then their goal they will set is 10x you know in one year or six months that doesn't work you know the, uh, so it should be challenging enough it should motivate you to take action and it should not be very easy also so if it is very easy suppose somebody has a goal of losing 1 kg weight you know the person may think oh the what, this is useless here what the 1 kg in one year i'll do anyway so what so point of taking effort so it should be challenging enough to motivate you to take action it should not be very easy the third is commitment you know and that is where the difference between having a wish and a goal comes in uh, and that is the reason a lot of new year resolutions have got a very bad name because people wish to give up smoking people wish to give up drinking people wish to start gym but it's not a commitment you know commitment is i will do whatever it takes unless you have that commitment that i will do whatever it takes uh, you can uh, you know the goal achievement will not happen you can set a goal but achievement will not happen so it's very important to have 100% commitment so be very careful for the purpose of session today if you pick one goal it is okay but be 100% committed that i will do whatever it takes to achieve that goal the last and four the fourth uh, component is very important which is constant feedback loop having an accountability partner and that is where manoj also you know manoj uh, helped me in uh, two very big ways one was you know spending 
couple of hours uh, when we were staying together in the hotel while doing that course in uh, uh, clarifying so many myths and uh, you know frustrations I had got about not being able to achieve goals. So he gave me that confidence. He gave me a methodology. Uh, he gave me a lot of things, inputs, tools, techniques to do it. And the second thing which he did was you know monthly accountability meeting. You know, so uh, he became my accountability partner, and every month we would get together and review how am I doing on that course. So that kind of uh, 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 you know feedback mechanism and that Manos need not be your accountability partner. It could be your spouse, it could be your friend, it could be your parents, it could be a sibling, anybody, but have one accountability partner who will keep you on track. That is very important. So these four principles are very, very important for uh, uh, goal setting please make a note of that and uh, you know if you have any questions or comments i'll be happy to take them uh, and then we will um, uh, uh, and then we'll move on yeah ashish yes. i want to ask you about the feedback part uh, that uh, you know uh, how would you have like for example if you're trying to finish a course yeah. okay and uh, uh, it's not time bound you don't know when the next module of the course is going to start. So you uh, chalk out uh, with clarity that, you know, I'm going to do this much, I'll accomplish this much today, this much in a week, this much in the next two weeks. So how would that feedback come in? Because this is your very personal goal of studying or, uh, you know, preparing for uh, something. So how would the feedback in this regard come in? Yeah, so the, uh, I am not sure if I fully understand. I hear you, Rupa, but I'm not sure if I fully understand what course is this, which doesn't have timelines. Normally, the course have timelines. But then maybe in this case, start by the, you know, so result would be the uh, output you would like, you know, what's the achievement you want. And then there will be activity goals you can define. Um, uh, even if uh, there is no exam date, I don't know if I'm understanding you right, but even if there is no exam or test date, uh, you could have, you know, one hour per day or couple of hours per week kind of study schedule and then see if you are keeping on track on that and have somebody, uh, you know, work along with you to ensure to check is if that is happening or not. Uh, I don't know if that helps, but those are the thoughts which come. Okay. Uh, so to add on what Ashish has said, so Rupa, uh, normally you can identify what are your internal factors and external factors. So if you have internally, if you have a module, you are aware of that module internally, then there, there should not be any uh, barrier to stop you that, okay, by this in one week, 10 days or two weeks, you have to complete that module. Until unless you have a dependency on the external factors, like the modules are not being sent for you to take any action. So based upon that, you can set the goals. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Rupa, for that question. Uh, what do we have in chat? Uh, difficult to find people who can give you genuine feedback. Yeah, Sanjeev ji, understand that. Uh, so that is the reason, you know, I'll, I'll kind of hold response to that uh, remark till we come to the end of the section. Uh, but appreciate your comment the most uh, uh, the most difficult part in all of this is actually being committed to to reaching the goal you know we start off with a lot of gusto and some challenges come by and sometimes you're too harsh on yourself for you know having derailed even for a day yeah. and then uh, you try and get back once or twice is okay but after that once you derail you know sometimes it's very hard to be motivated to come back and restart yeah so the Commitment part for me is the part which is hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah but completely uh, respect and understand that. And, you know, uh, even when rocket is flying, it never goes straight up. It just, you know, it keeps going. You, you would know that you are, you are, you are a pilot yourself. So you're a captain. Uh, so, uh, you know, it's never straight, but I think that is why the, the feedback mechanism is important. Having an accountability partner is important so that the course correction can keep happening you know and uh, ca and can happen compassionately uh, not by being uh, tough on ourselves uh, thanks thanks for those very interesting questions and comments uh, we will now move forward and i'll uh, request uh, manos to please take over from here thank you so much ashish uh, so friends i can assure you that the next 30 
40 odd minutes uh, you will have quite insight about how to create dreams why you should have a mission in your life and how you can achieve it um, so as Rhonda Bryan says in her secret like you become what you think about most but you also attract what you think about most so there's a very thin difference and uh, you can understand that so whatever you think you're going to attract that ultimately uh, so first of all, uh, I would like to start that why a mission in individual's life is very important and how that plays a big role in setting goals as well. Okay, so the mission statements, see we almost, as I said earlier as well, most of the organization, all, all organizations have their mission statements uh, uh, in, their, uh, in place and all the employees are ex expected to be aware of the mission of the organization. Manoj, the mission I request you to put your screen, a slideshow on full screen board. Yeah. Okay, so, uh, but as an individual, the mission statements of any individual or organization, it has a proper purpose in their life or a business, its objectives and its approach to reach those objectives. So when we uh, bifurcate as a vision, vision statements describes the described future position of an individual or a organization. So the elements of mission and vision statements are often combined to provide a statement of the individual or company's purposes to achieve their goals and values. So friends here, I would like to take a pause and can you let me know if we take two conglomerates in our big organizations in India, let's say Tata and uh, uh, Reliance, uh, whom do you think are more valuable, have more ethics and most respected organization? Can you just type Tata uh, for T and R for Reliance? Okay, so I can see, great, great, great. So almost all uh, the comments have come as Tata. Okay, so when you look very closely on their, both the organization's mission statement, you will find that why they're being such a trusted and branded company compared to the, uh, the another giant reliance. See the Tata Group's mission statement is, to improving the quality of life for the communities they serve globally through long-term stakeholder value creation based on leadership with trust and which are the driving forces for the lives of the people. Whereas on for the Reliance industry, their mission statement is to achieve excellence in project execution, quality, reliability, safety, and operational efficiency to relentlessly pursue new opportunities, capitalizing on synergies in the power generation sector to consistently enhance competitiveness and deliver profitable growth. Okay, here in the Tata group, they are, the mission is for the quality of the life of the communities they serve. That small statement itself makes a big difference and in, in almost 35 odd uh, people here in small group, almost everyone has that op opinion that Tatas are much respected and have more values, right? So the point I'm trying to bring over here is that we as an individual also have the same opportunity to think over and create your mission statements, which will help you the smaller goals, smaller goal, goals in your life. Uh, I will take you through on a later. These are certain positive terms wherein action words uh, through which you can uh, make your mission statement. I can guide you and I will share with you what is my mission statement and uh, uh, Ashish for mindful living uh, mission statement. So my mission is to add value and empower people to create and accomplish their goals. And mindful living's mission is to help 1 million working professionals to be healthier, happier and wealthier. So how the mission statement is helping me? So friends, uh, while my mission statement is to add value and empower people to help them to reach, uh, create and help their goals, but it is that I cannot 
go behind each and every person the opportunities comes to me so many a times like uh, before the lockdown period i used to go to less privileged schools and children's wherein the people don't have any uh, and any opportunity or guidance to think big and to create their goals so if you tap the potentials of the kids at a younger age they will be able to do magics in their life so i used to go to the schools and uh, help them to create their goals so that was my part of mission so coming forward so i can share another example is like uh based upon my mission there was my one of my colleague uh, uh who had a very medical emergency uh he had met with an accident and unfortunately organization could cover only 3 lakhs of insurance coverage and his expectation was 5 lakh so when i came to know about this i i had a thought to help him for the remaining funds and trust me for the first time i was trying for a crowd funding funding and within 48 hours i was the person was able to generate 1 lakh 96000 rupees so that was a big help for him and uh, to his uh, his family okay yes yeah, sir this is shukmar uh, i got that help sir manoj sir this is shukmar thanks. okay thanks shiva for the acknowledging so uh, to shiva to whom i was able to support was also is in this call uh, right now in this meeting right now uh so uh, how to identify your goals the first and foremost important thing is see uh, when i started with my this uh, mission statement uh, i came across i used to share with my uh, with my friends and colleagues and uh, during my discussion i could know that most of the people more than 80% of the people doesn't have any dreams or goals in their life okay so the most important thing when you want to create a goal is to identify your strength and your skills see while we have our uh, daily goals in our organizations you have to do a activity b activity but in your life you don't have those specific reasons and your goals what to do next in your day to day life or in a within short term one to two years or mid term or long term goals you have not created so after creating you will understand that you yourself will feel good about it and once the goals are and another very critical aspect is when you set the goals you should have strong belief on that you will be able to achieve that okay what i am and it should not be a mere faith that okay maine socha hai chalo ho jayega so there is a difference between a faith and strong belief so to give an example like from our childhood most of uh, almost all the religions teach their kids to fold their hands and pray to their god right so that's a faith that someone super power is helping you is is there to see you and will pull out for any uh, problems in your life okay so that is faith but when you are in deep trouble and something miraculous thing happens in your life you start believing on that supernatural powers okay so that's a very thin uh, uh, margin over there to about the faith and the belief until unless you experience yourself your belief will not grow strong on that and once you create your goals and have a strong belief you must live on highlighted moments so uh, i will define what does that means by highlighted moment is like uh, to give an example let's say uh, uh, there's an india and pakistan i hope most of the people love cricket here can you just type yes if you love cricket okay i got couple of responses yes yes okay so just assume uh, it's a weekend saturday and there is an india pakistan cricket final match and uh, you have planned to watch it like enjoy it at your home you have called up your friends also to enjoy that great innings great match and uh, and friday late night you received a call from your manager that you have very important task and you need to uh, come back to the uh, office for a couple of hours you were really literally irritated because you have made all the arrangements you called up your friends and family is everyone is coming there going to enjoy it but you uh, 
inform their manager boss see i can just as you said i can come for just couple of hours but he insisted that okay after two days there is a very important board meeting and we have to complete couple of uh, documentation and i am also coming and you must come so with hard heart you went the next morning by 9 am and again you reiterated your manager that okay boss i am going to leave maximum by 10 10:30 so just let me know what all needs to be checked documents to be uh, prepared i will uh, close and leave it he said okay then you were so much engrossed in your work that you couldn't realize that it's almost 2 pm now and when you checked your watch you get so frustrated and, and just quickly online you didn't get the time to check online as well the score score and you checked that okay the pakistan has batted first and made 350 runs oh that was quite disheartening but he wanted to uh, have the second innings uh, see the second inning match at home uh, with your friends and who arranged for a good party as well so now when you are just about to leave the office the manager said that ki how manoj how are you leaving now see i am sitting over here and we have couple more documents to check please complete this and then leave as soon as as soon as you complete it you have no options you started continuing the job and by the time you have completed it was almost 6:30 and with very sad face you said bye to your manager and you uh, going out and on the streets you can see the celebrations happening people are cracking uh, uh, firing the crackers and enjoying what do you think who has won the match just type who has won the match india or pakistan yeah bang on india has won the match exactly so what you are going to do after reaching home but around 8 pm now you wanted to ma- watch the highlights so will you be excited when you know the result will you be excited to know the uh, result or not most probably not however when you start seeing the match the pakistan has scored uh, 350 runs and when you started seeing the highlights of the match you saw that okay the opening batsman shikhar dhawan and rohit sharma were out within 6 overs just scoring Uh, total 50 runs and two wickets were down now you were interested who scored more runs and you could say that virat kohli was playing very good and by the 25th over by scoring 75 virat kohli also got out and it was just 185 runs on the scoreboard the huge runs to be scored more and there were not much strong batsmen so you were more excited god how how the you know the result india has won the match and it's just a matter of another 25 overs and who has batted so well that india has won the match and you continue to watch till the end of the match and you saw the tail enders have finished the match by making the uh, hitting a six at the last ball of the match and india won the match okay so that are the highlighted moments so when you have set your goals have a strong belief that that is going to happen till that results are there in front of you you have to continue to live on a highlighted moments that like you have you know the answer you know the goals are going is going to happen it's of just a matter of time that you have to go along with the time mere session ke log the and you know the result sir sir aap pe chill karo aap bol Uh, friends can you please mute the mic okay uh, the <clears throat> so just assume that until unless you have a mission in your life the you won't will be able to make smaller goals your mid terms your short term or the longer goals will not be aligned to your uh, mission so giving an another example which is helping uh, for my goals and is aligned with my mission is like one of my neighbor uh, who is uh, elderly in person and you know that in our current uh, flat um, where we live in communities and uh, apartments the flats the most of the people doesn't know each other you don't know the who is the neighbor staying in your next door uh, so uh, at around 12 12 pm 12 night uh, the spouse called me and said that uh, uh, he is uh, not feeling well and having a chest pain it was in the month of uh, july to 2020 and um, i was able to support them and take take them to the hospital 
and at that moment i could understand that uh people were so frightened to go to hospital it was like covid period the the hospital the itself was not was not willing to uh, admit a patient before doing the covid test and people were technically scared and they don't had anyone um, in hyderabad to take them to hospital or be to with them so i stayed with them the uh, entire night till the next morning 11 pm uh, 11 sorry 11 am Uh, till all their tests were done and the covid was negative and he was he had a minor heart attack and he was hospitalized and had uh, surgeries later on so what i'm trying to say over here is that the my mission statement is helping me to achieve my goals of to help people uh, on a day to day basis it's not that i'm reaching out to the people the universe is giving me opportunity to help others so it is very important that what is your mission statements and what are the goals you have defined and by when you are as uh, uh, ashish was saying the people are going to live till 60 to 80 or 100 years just just think over it who is uh, how you would be like to remember who is going to read your eulogy so like eulogy is a speech or writing in praise of a person when the person like uh, dies recently and the and the uh, his closest person a friend or family members read outs and it is important whether what the the people would be thinking about you what they want to read about you what they want to remember about you all would be based upon what's your mission in your life okay so friends uh, i can uh, ask uh, just choose any three of their uh, uh, of your goals for the for the year 2021 and you can just write uh, create your goals for this year yeah with so, regard to your career family spiritual spirituality financial social or any anything you can pick up and just create uh, goals in three areas of your life so we we'll, we have about 5 minutes to do this manoj could you please put up the previous slide hmm. yeah okay uh, we have about 5 minutes uh, pick up any three areas that resonate with you there are multiple areas in which we can set goals uh, choose three that work for you and uh, for the purpose of this exercise write three goals in those three areas <laughs> don't worry whether it is right wrong this is Uh, one of my coaches says that version one is better than version none. So we are creating version one now, and yeah, okay, Tanuja, uh, we are creating version one, and we can always change it, uh, and you know, think about it and refine it and work more on it as we go along. so once you have done you can type uh, done on the chat box yeah uh, shiv kumar uh, you know what i would urge you to uh, uh, specify a little bit more on what does good health and good wealth mean uh, you know get some numbers there then we will be able to uh, measure the progress uh, otherwise good health and good wealth will not help us measure the progress and uh, unless we are speaking i'll request everybody to put their mics on mute please and if you are comfortable you can uh, share one of your goals any one of your goals on the chat so that uh, we know uh, what you have written only if you are comfortable sharing
Sanjay, family, financial, and spiritual. Yeah, so you've picked up three categories and then, you know, please write three goals within those categories. I don't need to know what are the categories you have chosen, but what are the three goals? And you can share any one of them. Okay, uh, Sharma, that's a nice one. Uh, maybe you can uh, put some timeline to it. Oh, sir, I'll do that. Yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, yeah, Rupa, you can put some timelines to that. So, Sanjeev ji, the, what you have mentioned is uh, is an activity. You know, walking uh, and exercises an activity. The goal would be what is the benefit, you know, what is the outcome you want from that? Is it good health, more vitality, or, you know, that is something that you should define as a goal. Artiji, uh, uh, I see your goal. Uh, I don't know whether we can do this now, but we can get more specific, whether it is top 10 colleges in the cho or the chosen ones, you know, which, which one it is about going abroad. Yeah, uh, Manoj, uh, yeah, this is, okay, this is a result you want to have, okay? Okay. Okay, Tanaja. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Okay, Dina Ji, the timeline can help. You know. Okay. Uh, yeah. Fine. So, uh, almost everyone have have uh, made certain uh, <clears throat> picked yeah. up certain areas of in their life. So, what I have been uh, done and achieved, and I've helped like a lot of people, hundreds of people during the last five years is that whatever goal you have defined right now, picked up for yourself, put a timeline, number one. And number two, have a strong belief that you can achieve that. Okay, it should be realistic. As Ashish earlier mentioned that it should not, like financial goal, you should not be 10x in next six months or one year. If it's two, if it's achievable 2x or 3x, that's well and good. So put a timeline. When you have a strong belief, and start living on highlighted moments that universe is going to help you get that done. So these are the very three powerful uh, techniques which helps you to accomplish your goals. Okay, so there would be hindrance. So when you say that, let's, let's say in next three months, you're going to complete a course or next three months, you want to have some, let's say, 2x of money. In case, in case that doesn't happen, and but you have a strong belief just put up a more flexible date on that so for me what i do is like i in a certain month if i let's say by uh, by first of february i have not achieved my financial goal i extend it to 10th of february but i have a strong faith i have a strong belief that it is going to happen i have chosen that goal for myself i have a strong belief on that and I am living on the highlighted moments. It is bound to happen. It's just a matter of time. It's if not on 1st Feb, it's going to happen in very shortly by 10th or 15th. So continue with your strong belief until unless you achieve that. That's one of the powerful uh, exercise. So the, Manoj, we are kind of running out of time for this right. session. So I will request you to uh, carry on. Okay. Uh, Manoj, one doubt. Yeah. Yeah. Can I fix it for, let's say, for April, as you rightly said, and then revisit it later? Definitely. So, as I said, in case if you have put a 1st of April or 15th of April for for that right. goal, and right. but you you are so you you have strong belief that it will happen. Whatever external factors you are not able to achieve on set timeline, you can review that. Make it at 30th of April. No problem. 
okay. but continue to take action and have a strong belief on that okay thank you welcome ashish could i uh, hand over the uh, okay. stop okay. sharing okay okay thank you so much manoj uh, friends did you learn something valuable today in case you have learned something valuable please type lv in the chat box thank you thank you friends manoj ji if i put the timeline to be the end of this year is that all right or shall i put it a little before what do you suggest yeah so definitely uh, if you feel that uh, the whatever uh, goal you have defined right now it's going to take another 10 months you can put it like 31st of december end of the year and put a specific don't mention end of the year so you're not sure whether it's a calendar year or a financial year right so make it as 31st of december and you can uh, and just see it should not be so casual that okay you are able to do it in 6 months but you want to give another uh, 10 months of time so be uh, practical about that and uh, put up a specific date for that yeah thanks thanks for asking that arti ji uh, friends we have just put out a feedback form uh, though you have shared your uh, uh, feedback that you've got to learn something valuable would uh, take a minute and uh, please fill out this google form and uh, let us know how you have some more specific feedback ashish is the session done is that what you're saying yeah we were almost done we have uh, some more exciting announcements rupa so please stay on uh, till the end there is uh, something great that we are planning so please stay in terms of goal settings we are mostly done and we will take uh, we'll op open up the session for q and a at the end of the in some time so what myself and ashiv have attended 3 days of uh, seminars and program uh, program for mission for creating mission and uh, 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 goal statements um, so this is a just a capsule and half an hour one hour is in to limited time for us to share the entire thing so this is the essence we are sharing with people so once you have filled up the feedback form please type fd in the chat box feedback done so that we know it is done okay sanjeev ji friends it takes less than a minute it's very simple thank you arti ji thank you friends uh, please uh, keep filling out the feedback form in the meanwhile we will uh, just quickly uh, move forward and uh, i would like to uh, thank manoj for uh, taking out time today and uh, sharing his insights with us Uh, and we are very heartening it's very heartening to see that you found a lot of value in it i'll just take a couple of minutes to share with you what we have got lined up uh, on the coming saturday we have got two sessions a lot of people are struggling with health issues working from home so we're going to talk about uh, home ergonomics uh, dr gagan kapoor is a physiotherapist he was earlier the physiotherapist for indian national football team so he's going to be coming and talking to us and a lot of people these days are having challenges in sleep so we are going to talk about the import why it is important to sleep and what are the things we can do to sleep well and what is the importance of sleep in our overall uh, health and well being 
So that's the session on next Saturday. Then on 20th of February, then uh, we are having Dr. Nupur come and talk to us about uh, self-sabotage, how the patterns in our mind, uh, you know, sometimes prevent us from becoming successful. So that's the session on 20th February. And on 25th of February, uh, I complete two years of my certification as a teacher. And uh, as an anniversary program, you know, we are having uh, Mr. Sean Fargo, who is a world-renowned uh, mindfulness teacher, uh, come and uh, talk to us, you know, uh, do a session with us. So uh, India, uh, he's going to be talking on 25th February, uh, 5, 6 p.m. PST, but in India, it will be 26 February, 7.30 to 8.30 p.m. If you're excited about uh, attending the session with uh, Sean Fargo, please type E. He's a world-renowned mindfulness teacher. Thank you, thank you very much. So please block this calendar, uh, 7.30 to 8.30 a.m. On uh, 26th of February, we will have a session with Mr. Sean Fargo. So that, friends, is uh, what the, the lineup of our sessions is for the coming day. Whatever we have learned today, you know, we have shared a lot of valuable information with you, but the transformation will happen when you apply this information. So it's very, very important that you apply this information. And that is the reason uh, Manoj has uh, very kindly agreed to, uh, you know, lend his support like he supported me in achieving, my, you know, helping me go through my journey. Uh, you know, he's willing to support you in your journey. So here is his number. You can make a note of his number, take a screenshot and connect with him for any support that you may need. And believe you me, it requires a lot of support. You know, this is uh, like Manoj was sharing that nobody in our schools and colleges, uh, we are not uh, taught how to set goals. And in what we uh, do in corporates is very different in our personal life. In a corporate, there is a proper structure, there is a review mechanism, there is so much that happens which makes it possible for the goals to be achieved. But that kind of framework is not there, uh, you know, when we are working individually. So it makes immense sense uh, to reach out and get people to support you in your journey to achieve what you want to uh, achieve. You know, that is very, very important. And that was the objective of uh, our conducting this session today. I'm glad to see from your feedback that we have had reasonable success in uh, achieving our objective and uh, wishing you a very uh, happy weekend, uh, wishing you a great week ahead and look forward to interacting with you. We'll have two sessions on coming Saturday at 12 o'clock and four o'clock. Looking forward to having you. And uh, if you have any questions, we'll, I'll request everybody to put themselves on mute. Uh, and uh, you can stay in touch uh, to know about more about our sessions. Uh, you know, we are sharing the links on the chat. Uh, please stay connected with us. That way you can get the information about our sessions. Uh, you can connect with us on our YouTube channel. You can connect with us uh, on LinkedIn, WhatsApp. Uh, we'll just be putting up the links in a short while uh, so you can get the updates there. And we will also, we are now open to uh, any questions and comments that you have.